We start, though, with England. Ivan Tony will get the chance to make his claim for a place in England's squad for this summer's Euros after Gareth Southgate confirmed he will be involved against Belgium tomorrow night. The Brentford striker is expected to make his first start at Wembley, having previously played just 10 minutes of international football. Tony's only other cap for England came against Ukraine as a substitute almost exactly a year ago. Since returning from his eight-month ban, he scored four times in nine league games for Brentford. Asked how big an opportunity tomorrow's game could be for the Brentford striker, Southgate said, you can't hide that fact, he knows. It would be his first start, so you've got to bear that in mind as well. But with England, that's the landscape. You don't get hundreds of opportunities. I think every player recognises that's the world we live in. He went on to say, but he's a confident guy. He comes in on the back of a good run of form with his club. He's going to be on the field on Tuesday, no question. Right, it's a big question, isn't it? Uh, who is going to go uh, to the Euros for England in terms of the striking options to back up Harry Kane? Can Gareth Southgate take Ivan Tony and Ollie Watkins? We're not sure. Well, he got a good look at Ollie Watkins, didn't he, in that Brazil game? Maybe didn't quite take his opportunity. Mark's now going to go through how the two of these strikers compare, whether he can take both of them as well, I guess. He might, he might have decide that he, he does want to take both Tony and Watkins. Uh, so if you look at the stats, how do Ivan Tony and Ollie Watkins compare? Well, it was a, an interesting weekend, wasn't it? Of course, England's first defeat in 21 matches at Wembley. It wasn't the greatest game, in all honesty. But for the first time in a while, you've seen a different number nine, no Harry Kane, which is probably the kind of thing that Gareth Southgate will have nightmares about, particularly ahead of the Euros. But it gives him the opportunity to look at different players. Ollie Watkins got 90 minutes for England at the weekend. And as Gareth Southgate has alluded to, that man, Ivan Tony, looks like he's going to get his chance against Belgium on Tuesday. So this is a perfect opportunity for Gareth to really see what the strength in depth is like. We know that both of them are top-class players and having fantastic seasons. However, can they do it on the very biggest stage? Let's take a look at the comparisons between Ollie Watkins and Ivan Tony uh, since the World Cup. Um, this goes back, obviously, to the Christmas of 2022. Let's look at the graphic comparison of how they fare. You can see Premier League goals there. Ollie Watkins with 56 compared to Ivan Tony's 36. We know that, obviously, Ivan Tony has had a ban, so has not played as many games. But this gives you an indication as to the types of goals that have been scored by both strikers. 34 with the right foot for Ollie Watkins compared to 29 for Ivan Tony. You can see very immediately that Ivan Tony is more of a, a right footed man, doesn't use his left all that often to score. Ollie Watkins a little bit more versatile there, and Ollie Watkins has scored more headers 10 to 4. But this is the big thing, I guess, with Ivan Tony that cool, calm head mm. from 12 yards. We know that he's an exceptional penalty taker. Thomas Frank has said he's the best penalty taker in the world. For England, Matt, that could be crucial yeah, in a big tournament. 11 penalties compared to Ollie Watkins' three. Goals inside the box as well, 55 to 32. Goals outside the box, one to four. So Ivan Tony more than capable of scoring from distance. You can see as well something else that Ivan Tony brings, the direct free kicks. We know that he can score those free kicks. And you can see that Ivan Tony's minutes to goal ratio is slightly better, 214 compared to 188. Yeah, okay. it's interesting, actually, like Paul Merson, I remember saying he would take Tony ahead of Watkins just because of his penalties, which is quite an amazing thing, really, isn't it? Yeah, you get the sense as well that Gareth Southgate actually perhaps prefers Ivan Tony. Maybe he's mm. slightly similar as a player to Harry Kane than Ollie Watkins. Yeah. But the good thing is the England boss has a versatility, players that are in form at the moment yeah. as well. Well, I guess that the one doubt over Tony, of course, is he's just come back, hasn't he, from a long... Layoff, he said, what, eight or nine games now? Ten starts in the Premier League. Ten starts. OK, do, how do we think he's looking at the moment? Does he look like he's back to the old Ivan Tony? Well, if you'd asked me this question a few weeks ago, you'd have said 100% yes. Uh, in his first five Premier League games since coming back from the ban, he scored four goals and looked exceptional. However, he hasn't scored in his last five Premier League games. So he's having a little bit of a, a difficult spell at the moment. We know that he's got the ability to score. We know that he had something different. And he is Brentford's talisman. 
And I just feel like he's got the personality, the characteristics and the confidence and the self-belief as well, because you need that playing for England on the biggest stage. You know that the weight of the nation's expectation is on your shoulders and you have to deliver. You have to be there. So it'd be brilliant to see how he gets on if he were to start. You get the feeling from what Gareth Southgate said in that written section of the press conference that he will be starting. And this could be a huge opportunity to say, look, if, if Harry Kane's injured, we know that Harry Kane will start. If he's injured in the summer, he's not available. I'm the man that can lead the line for England. Mm. Gareth Southgate himself said that you don't get hundreds of opportunities to impress in an England shirt. Ollie Watkins got his chance against Brazil. Admittedly, the team weren't really firing, were they? It wasn't a great game, as you say. England didn't play that well. But did Ollie Watkins miss a big opportunity there? I think if you... If he'd gone out on that pitch at Wembley, scored two or three goals, got a couple of assists, been absolutely unbelievable, Gareth Southgate would have found it very hard not to play him against Belgium and, and maybe even to push Harry Kane. You know, that's what you want. You want Harry Kane to know that he isn't a guaranteed name on the team sheet because someone like Ollie Watkins and Ivan Tony playing so well behind them. Um, but yeah, perhaps a, a missed opportunity. Although Ollie Watkins is, you know, on set to have his best ever goal-scoring season. His best ever goal-scoring season was in 1920, where he got 26 goals playing in the championship for Brentford. He's currently got 22... Not 1920, you mean 2019, 2020. 19, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. quite a long time ago. 1920, you'd yeah. remember it well. But, um, <laughs> Thanks. 2019, <laughs> 2020, uh, he scored 26 goals for Brentford. Uh, this season, for Aston Villa, he's currently on 22 in all competitions. So you'd imagine him to get another four and have his best mm. ever goal scoring tally, which would be brilliant to go into the Euros, the striker that's in that kind of confident form. Let's take a look at these stats with regards to his performance against Brazil for England at the weekend. So 90 minutes play, 24 touches, just six of those in the opposition's box. Touches in the opposition's half, 18. Just the one shot, which isn't what you'd expect from a number nine. Shots on target, zero. No question, though, he's having a phenomenal season and he will certainly add to that rank for England in those attacking bursts. Can they both go to the Euros? Well, this is something we'll talk a little bit about later on in the show, actually. But it'd be interesting to see when you look at the likes of strikers and the strength and depth that Gareth Southgate has gone with in previous tournaments. Generally, only two number nines with Marcus Rashford, who can play as a number nine as well. Mm. So whether he goes for Watkins, Tony and Kane will be the big question. At the moment, you'd have to say it's likely he would because of the players he has at his disposal and the options that they bring him. But it's going to be fascinating to mm. see if both of them make it or if one of them misses out. Yeah, thanks, Mark. Big decisions ahead for Gareth Southgate. 